July 3rd, 2020, 1.55 uh, a.m. Um, I'm ready to try this thing out. I put the uh, inner muzzle thingy on this. Um, <coughs> and this thing's ready to go. Turned out halfway decent for a... Uh, for a quick job, well, quick as in, um, I don't know, it really wasn't quick, but I didn't put a lot of thought into it, let's say. Hmm. One good thing about that um, Ape Man is it's got a wide angle lens on it, that helps a lot, I mean, just, I'm looking at the, uh, the screen here and definitely needs a um, wide angle. Alright, let's go. So I still got the fog problem, and I'm guessing it's very hard to hear what I'm saying. I'm kind of yelling right now. The, uh, unfortunately, these side things here. They might have, I, I was hoping they would stop the plugging problem, but unfortunately the valves on this go in, not out. So, I guess I could reverse the valves. I can go the other way. Alright, I'm kind of getting a, uh, a sense for how it is without the thing running right now. A slight rubber smell. And of course, the fog. But all in all, it's uh, breathing is no problem at all. It's reasonably comfortable. And let's turn it on and plug it in. I'm not smelling anything different. The wire's not hot. Feels a little bit warm down here. Just a little bit. And cold up here. But that could be because the uh, 
Air conditioning blowing out. Let me uh, put it that way to see what happens. Hey, it can take a beating. Hmm, the fogging doesn't seem to be getting any worse, actually. That's a good sign. Maybe as it uh, warms up from my breath, that might defog it. So, in essence, right now it's working as a two-way protection. That if I'm sick, it has to go out through there and hopefully not make anybody else sick. Kill the germs before it gets to them. And of course, inhaling, it's all coming through there. Yeah, I don't feel any kind of leaking here. The mask fits well. The next thing to do on this, I got this uh, fluorescent powder. And, uh, resin. So I'm going to mix the fluorescent powder with the resin and then from the from the uh, chamber of doom <coughs> excuse me there'll be a uh, fiber optic thing going into the mask into like something here for it to shine on to indicate for sure that the LEDs are running that I'm getting ultraviolet C protection because if, if you just go by a indicator light on this you know you really don't know there's no telling you know you could have a shortened wire and the light on this will think everything's just fine and plus it's like in your belt or your pocket or clipped to the back of the mask so you just wouldn't know if something went wrong and you're like in line somewhere in a crowded line full of goofballs with no masks, coughing, thinking you're protected and you're not. So you have to have some absolutely for sure indicator. So electronic, uh, you know, LEDs or lights, indicator lights powered separately just, just doesn't cut it. Got the, uh, got the powder from throwing a plug to these people. What is it? Uniglow Products LLC. And they're pretty generous. They, they uh, tossed in a bunch of extra stuff. Uh, I can't see it because of the fog, but they gave me a, an extra little container. Oh, here it all is. They gave me all, all this extra stuff. I heard this. They sent me all this extra stuff. Okay, so far, so far. So what I should do... If I were a real, a real warrior scientist, I should go over to one of my idiot Trump fan neighbors, start an argument with them, get them really frothing at the mouth, angry. And then, uh, you know, if I don't get sick, then I know it works. Nah, I'm not going to do that. <laughs> Uh, I'm not that brave or stupid. Take your pick. All right. I guess I'll make like a, a clip, a belt clip, or something to clip it onto the back of the back of the mask straps. Alright, so uh, I guess that covers it for now.